What's up, YouTube? This is the Wisco Boater Channel. My name is Chad. We've been out doing some uh, cruising here the last few weeks, and it's time to do a couple of projects this weekend. It's a uh, solo weekend for me. So I'll get to the projects here in a second. It's uh, not only a solo weekend for me, but if I go outside here, it's a beautiful day, uh, but all of my dock buddies are gone. So this was a uh, weekend trip to Cedar River that I was uh, going to try to go on, but uh, Brittany was unavailable. She had to work a hunt test and um, some of the other friends that I would like to have uh, go with me on this trip were also unavailable. My dad is back down in Illinois, so I had no crew to, to do this trip. So I had a reservation over at Cedar River for the weekend, had to cancel that, but uh, see Mark and Mandy here are gone. Scott and, and Heidi on the end, John and Jen over on, on the other side there. They're all gone for the weekend, oh, so no uh, nobody to hang out with. Brittany's not with me. So we're going to uh, do a couple of projects. And the first thing, first one I'm gonna do, I don't know why I came back up here. So the first one I'm going to do is uh, the last couple of weeks we discovered that this rear window after my resealing of the uh, uh, this rubber gasket, it's called glazing, uh, wasn't quite sufficient. Now I did this window first over the winter and I learned a lot more about installing window glazing when I did the front windshield. So I am pretty certain that I didn't use enough uh, silicone in the track um, to install this this particular piece of glazing. So this is uh, still, I mean, a fairly new piece, very pliable still, uh, reusable. So I'm going to peel that out, re-silicone the, uh, the window, and then put the glazing back in. Now, I discovered this because the um, leak was actually right on my forehead while we were sleeping. I woke up to dripping water on my forehead, uh, which was uh, an interesting thing to wake up to, but that is how I discovered it. So, a boat coming in behind us here. So, and then the other projects I'm going to work on my fresh water pump for the fresh water system is not working. Um, I'm gonna start with the filter on that and I'm also going to check to see if the, uh, the line coming off the pump is actually pumping water after I clean the filter. So might not get to that today. It's uh, the end of August. Um, so we're not really gonna have a whole lot of use for it for the rest of the year. We might, might try to do one more trip um, on the boat. I would like to have fresh water um, for, for that trip. So. Um, I will try to get to that. And then other little stuff that's just been bothering me. Um, I'm not gonna video the other little things. I'll show you what I did, but there's a couple little things throughout the boat that have just been on my to-do list. There's simple little little projects that I just have put off and they, they're gonna take like five minutes each, so. And in addition to the water pump, uh, one other project I'm going to do this weekend is to install a new uh, masthead light. This is, uh, well, an all-around light. They call it all-around light slash masthead for sailboats, but all-around light for powerboats. Uh, this is a brand new uh, Perco direct replacement for what's up there. I did replace the bulbs inside with LEDs, uh, so they'll be nice and bright, and very, uh, very recognizable. Um, and that is the last light on the boat to switch to LED. Um, so kind of looking forward to, uh, to doing that project. And I'm going to uh, re-waterproof the canvas. Um, had some leaks last weekend. We had a torrential rain last weekend. It rained so hard for a good five, six hours. Um, someone told me yesterday that they measured almost five inches of rain last Saturday. So we had some leaks up in the, uh, up in the cockpit from the canvas. So going to uh, re-spray the canvas with, uh, with waterproofing spray. And it's also, as I said, it's the end of August. And unfortunately, I have to go deliver my haul out form. We're gonna try to stay in the water until mid-October. My preferred haul out date is gonna be October 17th. And uh, that will get us right up to the end of the season when they shut the water off. Um, 
there'll still be power on the docks until all the boats are out but i do believe they shut the water off on the 17th so i'm gonna walk up to the clubhouse do that now and then we'll come back and uh, get started on the uh, rear window seal all right so the first project is done got the uh, rear window seal it's a little bit messy right now um, I I put a ton of silicone in, this, in these tracks and I've got some you know that's out on the on the window there but that's super easy to scrape off once it cures so the uh, channel that I pulled out the glazing um, fit right back in where it's supposed to and uh, there, when I pulled it out, there was honestly, there was hardly any silicone in there. I, I did a terrible job putting that in the first time. So got the old silicone out, what was left of it, and cleaned the channels completely with uh, rags and uh, vacuum. And then put the new channel in with some clear. It's white right now. You can see the fillet that I put around the window is white, but it'll dry clear. I don't think that's what was leaking, but just to be safe, I went ahead and and silicone around the entire windshield or around the entire frame of the window as well as uh, the new glazing there so we'll let this cure up not supposed to see any rain today uh, but maybe tomorrow or overnight tonight so we should get a test on this pretty quick and i did have a bunch of footage i do have a bunch of footage of of installing this but it's honestly the exact same thing as when i did the the glazing over the winter so uh, if you haven't seen that video, go back and check that out uh, to see how the stuff gets installed. Uh, it's really super easy, um, but there wasn't really any point in repeating it. So on to the next project. All right. Well, the day of projects uh, has continued. I've got the uh, canvas pulled down on the back here. Got the uh, new all-around light put up up there. And if I go turn the switches on for the nav lights and the anchor light. Let's take a look. Probably gonna be hard to see because it's so bright out. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell, but yeah, they're both on. So that's a new uh, new Perco all around. So it's a anchor light combination anchor light and nav light. And I did start to spray the canvas with uh, waterproofing, but the winds picked up a little bit, so. I'm just gonna leave this down for a little while here and see if I can get the rest of it sprayed after the wind dies down a little bit. All right, well, we're into the evening. I got the canvas put back up, got it all sprayed with waterproofing. And let's go out and see if we can see the uh, lights turned on. The uh, green light on, red light on, and I'm gonna have to go all the way over here to see the all around light. All right, see the anchor light and the nav light are both on. And there's one more light to check, which is the stern light. Pretty sunset tonight. Some storms off to the west. Might get a little noisy tonight, but... We'll give my uh, rear window reseal a good test. And the stern light is on. Underwater lights are on. Not a bad day of projects. Didn't uh, didn't quite get the uh, water pump thing figured out, but we'll leave that till tomorrow. Time to watch the Packers game. All right, so we finally got the uh, water pump working again. Uh, this was a, the the other big project for the weekend. The rear window reseal was uh, the first one, and then I really wanted to get the water pump going. If I could, and we uh, were able to get that solved. Uh, I had my friend Kevin come over and we were able to troubleshoot the water pump, found out that uh, it was airlocked. So uh, let me just show you here what I did, uh, some of the initial troubleshooting steps. Um, 
and uh, and what we did to uh, figure so out. So I initially took the shore power water supply and unhooked it from the side of the boat, brought it down here into the engine room, which I'll jump down here. And in the water supply from the freshwater tank, there is this little T right there, which I assume is probably to use for, uh, I mean, if you're gonna wash down the engine room or something maybe, that would be a water supply line that you could hook up to uh, spray things down in here. Uh, but I use that as a water inlet so that I could first pressurize the lines to either um, open up a blockage that might be up under the, the tank, which is under the bathtub up there, I believe. Um, which bathtub is right there. And I think if I'm, I may be, I may be incorrect, but I think the water tank is underneath the, uh, the bathtub there. It might be under the fuel tanks, but anyway, the water line, as it goes through the bulkhead there, uh, there is no valve or anything to uh, turn it on and off. So I use that inlet, uh, that does have a, a valve on it that I could turn on and off. So I was able to pressurize the line to backflow it to break away any uh, any sort of blockage that might be at the bottom of the freshwater tank. Um, and then it also, what I was thinking was, it should have pressurized the line as it runs up under here, under the floor, up to where the freshwater pump is. Up here, so you can see this is the line here, it goes into the filter and then the pump, which then runs out um, through that, that braided line and then up into the water system. So while it was running pressurized water into the system, we still were not getting any water to, to flow into the filter, uh, which kind of uh, gave us the first inclination that the pump probably was airlocked. So what I did at that point was unhooked the water line right here and I had uh, my friend Kevin turn on the breaker while holding this line down into the bilge. It pumped a bunch of air. I was watching the uh, the filter here um, to see if it was drawing water. It, after it pumped all the air out it did eventually start started to uh, suck water in and you can see now we have a water line inside the filter and it was uh, spitting out water um, and then we hooked it back up and we now have water at the sinks so I made a little bit of a mess you can see there's kind of water everywhere but just drained down into the bilge pumps overboard no big deal so with the water pump now fixed we have water off the dock and that's one more thing checked off the list right, and as I climb back up out of the engine room come back up here to the sink Still don't have uh, dock water hooked up, but we now have water, which is a great thing. And then the pump just kicked on. Nope, it just, just shut off. I was gonna try and catch it while it was running, but regardless, the water pump does work. So that is the extent of the the bigger projects that I wanted to do this weekend. I did tell you that I was gonna show you some of the small stuff that I did. So I'll just wrap the video up uh, uh, by showing you that. Real quick here, check out this Axio par that's going by. That is a sweet boat. So ignore the bed, it's a mess. The uh, other couple little things I did this weekend are in the aft head. I was missing a uh, handle pull for this drawer, so I installed that. That one is the last one, and I can't install a new pull without pulling the doors off, and I don't really feel like doing that. So there's just no room to get on the back side. Got about an inch and a half of clearance, so getting those screws out is impossible without taking that door off. And then the other little thing I did was there was a There was a shower curtain retainer that was hanging right here. It was just nasty and uh, all kind of 
black and moldy. So took that off, put some silicone on the uh, other side or the on the screw, and put that back in. So now we don't have that uh, little piece of nasty fabric hanging from our shower curtain. All right. So the only other thing I'm going to do this weekend, it's a Saturday afternoon right now, and. Uh, I'm kind of tired of doing projects, but I'm going to wash down the boat, put some spider spray on it, and uh, maybe remove some of the, the black streaks, or not the black streaks, but the the stains from spiders and bugs and stuff, but uh, I'm not going to record that. That's boring stuff. So thanks for watching this episode of the Wisco Boater Channel. Hope you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, send me some comments, and if you want to be notified when I post new videos like this one, hit that notification bell. We'll see you next time on the Wisco Boater Channel. Happy boating, everybody.